So we've got the site we brought back to life. It is as we left it. We had created a static home screen. All of our posts have been moved over to their own screen. We have to talk about different things today like menus, widgets, and plugins. Let's go back to the dashboard. And let's go look at pages. All pages. We have a home page, a sample page. Let's say one of the things we want to add to our e-commerce site is a way for people to get a hold of us to do a little bit of customer service. That would be perfect for a contact us page. We need a screen where people can contact us. Later on we'll talk about um, the, the more powerful ways to create a contact form, but at the very least let's create a basic contact page. Remember the difference between posts and pages. Posts are for the blog, pages are screens that don't change too often. So under pages click add new page. At the top, we'll call this contact. This will be our contact page. You can call it contact us, contact me, contact the company. You can call it reach out to us. You can call it anything you want. I'm going to call it contact. And then in the main editor right here, this will be a placeholder. We'll fill it in more deeper later, but we'll say um, get a hold of us. And let's say we'll just we'll just put a phone number, make up a phone number. In your opinion, what would be good content to add to the contact page, perhaps? Email. So let's put a fake email. What else might you be looking for on a contact page? Address. An address, perfect. So, let's say some address. Uh, maybe what else? If you want to have people contact you. Social media. Social media might be a good idea. So I might have a, a Facebook address, so I can put a Facebook address. So those are just examples. Think about yourself. When you want to contact some sort of e-merchant, how are you personally going to do it? Maybe some of you, I need a phone number, I need to talk to them right now. Some of you might say, an email will suffice. I'll send them an email, we'll get the ball rolling. Some of you will say, well, maybe I need to uh, send them a letter or something. So whatever you way you feel you need to contact the company or how you want to be contacted is what you'll be filling in into the contact form, the, the contact page, that is. And I just gave away what I was going to ask. Contact form. Maybe a contact form is also useful, like asking, please fill this in your name, your message, your email, um, etc. Uh, WordPress does have a contact form system. Um, it's going to be a plugin that we talk about a little later, but that's actually going to be a little bit better than, uh, than putting your email naked out there. I believe in this class I mentioned against not doing that. Um, I wrote it down here, but it's going to be better to instead have a contact form. Because just putting your email address out there, that is in st that's still in the style. As I said previously, every email has a style, a format. Something at something dot something. You, you hear about dot com, dot net, dot biz, etc. What's dot mil? Military. Those are very rare, very <coughs> rare email addresses. You have to be in the military, obviously, the US military. But it's still the same pattern. Something at something dot something. And sometimes addresses have a dot in there. It's still the same pattern. Something at something. So
not so good. Let me say here, to do. Add a contact form. Later on, we'll address the contact form. We don't really need to change anything else about this page. Go ahead and click Publish at the top right corner. And then Visit Site. Go take a look at your nice new contact page. Well, if you visit your site, I don't see a button anywhere to go look at it. Trick question. So the default behavior of WordPress is, unless you specify, there's no menu. There should be a menu somewhere here that lets me go to the contact page, to the products page, to the home page. There's no menu. So that's good and bad. It's good because we can customize our menu very powerfully in WordPress. If it doesn't do it for us, we can create a menu exactly how we want. The bad is, if we forget to create a menu, no one will ever be able to get to your contact form, contact page. So let's, let's talk about menus in WordPress. Go back to your dashboard. There's several ways to get to it, but once you're in the dashboard, hover over Appearance and select menus. Appearance, menus. This screen is uh, kind of full of a lot of things to look at, but basically at the moment we have edit menus and we'll have another tab later. Then we've got uh, edit your menu or create one. We don't have a menu yet. We'll have a list of all of our menus. We can have more than one menu. We can have, let's say, a main menu, and it has seven links. And let's say we have a sidebar menu, and it has different links. Let's say we only have one menu, but we change it by season. What if we're having our winter sale? So on the menu, I want five different links whereas throughout the rest of the year I have seven links. So I can create different menus, populate them with different links, turn them on and off whenever I want very easily and WordPress lets you do that. The tricky thing is creating the menus and managing them, but it'll become easier with practice. Number one, we have no menus, so let's create a menu, menu name. Let's call it Main Menu. So in the box right there, type main menu. You can use uppercase, lowercase, doesn't matter. I will write it like that. No one will see that. None of your users will see that. That's what I'm going to call mine. And again, I could create something called holiday menu later on, and I, I'll put in special holiday-centric links here. The user will not see these names. Type a name and then click create menu. Now the screen changes. Edit menus, manage locations. I'm currently editing the main menu. There's nothing in it yet. And some other options. Before we populate the menu, this is always a, a problem for people getting, uh, getting their first knowledge with WordPress. We spend all of this time to create a menu. We put all of these elements in the menu, and it still doesn't show up because it's very easy to overlook this down here, theme location. This menu has not been activated anywhere in our site yet. And this particular theme has two menus, a primary menu area and a social links menu area. Depending on your theme, you may have one or four locations, or maybe more or less, depending on your design. So this particular design, I think it's going to put it over here somewhere. There will be a brand new menu over here. A different design may put it on the left side, on the top, on the bottom, somewhere. And you'll, you'll see those options here under the men, edit menus or menu locations. There's a primary menu. 
attach a menu to it. Social menu, attach another menu. There's a couple of ways to do it, but let's say under Edit Menu, we're editing the main menu, and we'll activate Primary Menu. Show this, show these links in the primary menu. I don't know where it is at the moment. I'll see that once I publish it and such. But then at this point, before we go further, click Save. I'm saying to do this right away because, again, we're going to add stuff to our menu. We're going to forget to turn that on. We won't see a menu. I will turn this on right away to make sure we don't forget to show it. And what we can display on the menu are, notice these right here, pages. We can add pages to our menu. We can add individual posts to our menu, custom links. So these are external links. These are links to any other website. Let's say we have an Etsy shop. We can add one of those. Categories. This will work better. This will make more sense a little later when we actually add products. So I'm Victor's Bakery. I'm going to sell pecan pie. I'm going to sell chocolate chip cookies. I'm going to say sell birthday cakes. Pies, cookies, cakes. Different categories of products. I can create menus that only show cake products. I can show only cookie products in a menu via categories, for example. We don't have that yet. For the moment, what I would like on my menu is the contact page and the home page. I would want people to be able to navigate my site easily. So select contact, select home and click Add to Menu. Your menu, once you visit site, may be vertical, it may be horizontal. We can't tell yet. This will only show it vertical. First item, second item. And if your menu is horizontal, the first item here will be the first horizontally. The second item here will be the next one horizontally. The third one will be the third one. So let's say I want first the home button, then the contact button. Just drag it. If we can drag it up here. See how those dotted lines appear. What if we want to change the name? That's going to be in here. If you click the little triangle, right now it'll say Home. Navigation label. Change that to whatever you'd like. Or maybe this contact. Maybe I really wanted to say Contact Us. So I can go to the little triangle, type Contact Us. This does not change the original page in any format, in any way. So this is cool. I can call this anything I want. The original page internally is still simply called Contact. So what will show up on the menu is contact us. If we no longer want an item in the menu, obviously then we remove it. Click Save Menu and go visit site. Save Menu, Visit Site. You should see at the top right corner a home button, a contact us button. Click that. It's the contact page we made. Notice it's also then becomes highlighted here to show us we're in the contact screen. We can click home. We should go back to the home screen. Home contact. Mm -hmm. say we wanted to add also a link to this menu to some other website. Let's say we also have, we also sell products on, on eBay. We want to add a link here to eBay. We need to edit this menu. There's a couple of ways to do it. If you hover over the name of your site, you can go directly to the menus there. 
But just to remind us, I'll go back to the dashboard first. Appearance, menus. The other way is a shortcut, but just to remind us the long way, go to appearance, menus. Here's our main menu. Now I want to add a link over to PayPal, or I mean eBay. That'll be a custom link. Let's open the custom link box. Yes? Is that where also you put um, the link for your Facebook and Instagram? Most likely, yes. But this particular theme also has a special social links menu. We're going to explore that one in a moment. Most of the time, yes. This is where you would put your external social media. This is a little different. So under custom link, the way it works is you supply an address and you add some text. So I'm just going to make this up. Let's say I have an ebay.com slash Victor's Bakery. Just put anything there. And the link text will be eBay or visit our eBay or our eBay shop. Any text you want, any address, and click add to menu. Do something with Pinterest? Yes, but that's what I was saying a moment ago that this particular theme has a specific social media link menu. We'll do that one in a moment, but most of the time, yes, you could put your Pinterest there, your Facebook, your Instagram, whatever. So it added it. Whenever you add a new element, it goes right away at the bottom. Again, maybe I want the eBay to be after home. But look at this. If I move it up like this, it looks indented. And it says sub item. If I drag it to the left, it's on the same indention. What this is about sub menus, drop down menus. Let's say I have a contact us page. And um, a complaints page. I can create a, a page. I have to create the page first. Then I add the page here, complaints. And if I drag the complaints page indented like this, now it's a drop down element. So let me show you what I mean here. It's easier to, ex to show it than explain it. So let me show you this. You don't have to do it. The way that it works is. I added eBay as a sub-item. Now notice my menu. It has automatic little triangle, and when I put my mouse on it, it, it pops up. So elements that are like this, that are sub-items, will appear after the user hovers. So I put home instead of contact for some reason. Hover over it, it pops up when with eBay and home. A very easy way then to create sub items and you can create sub items of sub items just indent them again this doesn't make sense at all of course but depending on my products what if I've got a shop page below it I've got cakes cookies pies and then below each of those I have uh, you know sugar free and I've got you know ones that actually taste good so we can have different sub levels like that and just to show you what that looks like, how weird this will look. Submenus of submenus. If I hover over this, this has a submenu. Hover over that, that has a submenu. All completely just little drag and drop. In the old days, this was a lot of coding, very complex. The one tricky thing is that I notice that it's that when I move elements in between each other, they want to indent right away. I don't want to indent it. I want it to the left. So sometimes you have to kind of and, uh, jigger it so that you get to the right spot right there. It's easy to jump to the wrong place. Yes? Um, yes, all of these changes that you've been making get saved. But what often happens when you go between themes is it doesn't know where to put the menu. This theme has two menu locations. If you switch to another theme, with one menu location, it won't know which of those two menu items 
I mean menus, should I put into my menu location? So it'll leave your menus alone, but it won't actually activate them anywhere, usually. So once you select to activate it and save it, then it'll remember when you switch between themes. If you make any changes to this menu, remember to save. We'll do social media in just a moment. Go ahead and save that. Visit site. Here's my menu. I would love it to be on the left side. This is, again, these, these sort of design things are going to depend on your theme. We'll explore some of those customizations in a little bit. But let's do one more thing, then we'll take a break. I want to add a little social media. That's one of the things we need nowadays. Your website all by itself uh, might not be as effective unless you also have some Facebook action or Twitter or Instagram and that sort of thing. That's a topic for another class, the social media class. The short answer is that social media is valuable to reach an audience, a captive audience to, to, to market, to, to advertise, to spread the message of your website, to get customers, social media. We have these clients that my company takes on and they hire us to make a website and it's great, but then we tell them and we show them examples, you need social media too. They hire us for that, and then they do see more and more traffic to their site, more sales to their site, social media. This particular theme, if you go back to menus, this particular theme has, again, a primary menu location and a social links menu location. I want a brand new Notice I can select both, but it doesn't make sense that my contact us is part of that. So one menu can be used in more than one location. Yes? So if your website is not using a theme that contains a social links menu, is there any way to add that in? A couple of ways. One is to manually do it with custom links. You have to type all the addresses yourself. The other way is through a plugin, and we're going to talk about plugins after this part here. The plugin will give you more features, such as adding social media. So, which way, because I'm doing this live on my website now, which way would you recommend? The plugin? The plugin is often better because it has more features. Is there a way to tell it to open it in a separate window? Yes, um, we're going to do that right now when we add the social media because it's not on by default and we often want that, so we'll do that one moment. I need a brand new menu to display my Facebook, my Twitter, my LinkedIn, YouTube, whatever. I need a different menu. I'm not going to add it to the same main menu. So at the top, it should make it more obvious, but there's a button right there, create a new menu. And I can have, again, multiple ones. I can turn them on and off whenever I want. But at the top, click Create a New Menu. If you made any changes, make sure you save those changes. Um, create a new menu, and we'll call this Social Menu. New menu called Social Menu, click Create. Before we add anything to it, remember, activate it so that it works where we expect it to work. Visible on screen, because if there's no check mark here, this menu will not show up. We have to tell it where to go. Notice it tells us if we've got more than one menu, the primary menu currently is using the main menu. So I'll set this to the social links menu and I'll save it before I forget. And I'm going to add some custom links here. If you, if for practice, if you have some social media accounts, you can add them here. If not, you can add my company's addresses. So let's say I'm going to do Facebook. I type in facebook.com slash the name of your Facebook address. In our case, PMD Interactive. So facebook.com slash PMD Interactive. 
and the link will be the link text will be Facebook. The text people will see will be Facebook, and the link that they will follow will be up here, the URL. Add to menu. Let's see, I'll add another one, another custom link. Twitter. Twitter.com slash PMD Interactive. Text Twitter. You get the idea. I'll add one more. YouTube. youtube.com slash PMD Interactive. This obviously assumes you have these accounts. This assumes that you have a YouTube address, a Twitter address, a, a Facebook address, a, a profile. This assumes you've created these. If you simply fill it in with one that doesn't exist, the link won't work. It doesn't have anywhere to go to. I created custom links, I added custom links, I added them to the menu. By default what will happen is that when you click, when the user clicks the link, it'll open in the same window. I actually want the Facebook link to open in a separate window. I want the Twitter link to open in a separate window. That is an option that is off by default and we have to turn it on. It's actually pretty hidden. Mm -hmm. If you open the link, you have these various options. There's going to be an option that is currently deactivated. Didn't I say previously that WordPress has a lot of options? Some of them are hidden. Does that ring any bells? Screen options. Open up screen options, and you want to turn on link target. If you turn on link target, open link in a new tab. So now a Facebook link, when someone clicks Facebook, it'll open in a new window. And yes, unfortunately, you have to do this for all of them manually. But that is hidden up on the screen options of the menu screen. A bunch of other ones I didn't mention. But the one you want is link target. Briefly notice at the top it says, show me that I can add pages to my menus, posts, custom links, categories. Notice what's off. Tags formats. If I use tags in my posts or formats in my posts, here's more things I can show in my menus. Link opens in a new tab, title, uh, these other ones don't really worry about it. A little bit more advanced, you don't quite need them. Save your menu, visit site, In this particular theme, the social media links menu should be at the bottom right corner. If you didn't notice, now at the bottom right corner, we have some social media accounts. They automatically show up with the icon of the network. I added three networks here, so those show up. I click on Facebook, for example, it opened a new tab. So notice up here, I was in this tab, it opened a new tab. Now I'm looking at Facebook. Don't forget to give us a like. We've got then the Twitter. Click on that, new tab, opens up Twitter. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter. And then on uh, YouTube, click on that, and then right, don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. There's still some other nuances of menus and such, but this is the big thing. WordPress does not create menus by default. Uh, you often have to do it, 
And the good thing about that is you can arrange it how you want. Now there is an option here that some people find useful, but I don't, which is right here, auto add pages. If you turn this on, well, before I mention that, notice now that I've got more than one menu, I have a brand new thing to look at. Select a menu to edit or create one. So here, now I've got two menus that I could possibly work on. So if I go back to main menu, select. So now I need to know, now I need to pay attention to which menu am I editing. And if I've got multiple menus, a summer sale menu, a winter sale menu, and the normal menu. I have to remember to switch between them when I edit it. The screen can be very cluttered. What I was about to say is, I read a home screen, contact us, eBay, I want to add an about page later. Uh, we'll do that later. And if I add the about page, it will not automatically add itself to the menu. So I did all of that work to create the, the about page and I visit site and it doesn't show up here in the menu. The default behavior again is the menu is not created and it is not auto-populated. That's default. You have the option automatically add new top-level pages to this menu. So if I turn that on and save it and then I create an about page, it will add itself to my menu. But I still don't recommend it because it's going to simply add it to the end of your menu. I have to come back here anyway to arrange it where I want. So I don't really feel that's very useful. And that's a big detriment actually for us, my company, when we do advanced things such as landing pages. Um, that's a little more complex and I'd like to talk about what that is, but a landing page is sort of like a special a special like VIP page uh, for people to go to. Let's say on our Facebook we have some ad that says click here for exclusive coupons. They click the link and they go to a landing page. They go to a page that I created in WordPress and the only way to get to the landing page is from the link on Facebook. Therefore, I don't add the landing page to the menu. If I add it to the menu, anyone can get to the landing page. It's not special anymore. It's not VIP anymore. So if I've activated automatically at a new top level, it will add all your secret landing pages right to the menu. It won't be secret. So that I don't think is useful at all once you do advanced things. And so, depending on the theme, uh, you know, these icons might have appeared elsewhere. This design might have been vertical, might have been on the left, depending on the theme. We do have some customization, which we'll see right after the break. What we've done is we spent the time to resurrect the site so we don't have to start all over. We played with the menus a little bit. We'll probably do a little bit more later. And we've got a brand new element in here, Appearance Menus. Let's take our first break, 7.25. We'll be back at 7.35, and we'll learn some more.